so it's a very rainy wet day in Kathmandu a good July at the time of recording monsoon afternoon and I just wanted to talk about just some safety precaution tips while you're behind the wheel when it comes to rain and that is to one first and foremost always be patient with two wheelers in front unlike you that's sitting in a car cocooned from the elements these guys are not and so they're going to be a bit impatient on the road and you as a driver i feel have to be the better person and just let them go whether it's at an intersection or it's on the road or it's just in traffic if they look like they want to speed up then just be aware of where they are on the road and make sure you leave them enough room because they're going to be a bit panicked in the sense they're getting wet out there and no one wants to get wet especially when it comes to dirty polluted acidic city rain <laughs> maybe out in the countryside and you're on vacation sure that might be a movie movie-esque romantic thing but when you're trying to get to office or when you're trying to get to your next meeting or even home at the end of the day nobody wants to get drenched and so yeah be patient but two don't overspeed i know cars come with phenomenal disc and drum brakes and so do bikes these days but when you are hitting speeds above 50 kilometers per hour there is this phenomena that i've talked about before called hydroplaning or hydro locking and it's basically when there is a wedge of water in between the contact point of the road and the rubber on your tire it's like a microscopic thing but what that initially does is that it suddenly gives you zero grip like there is zero contact point between the rubber on your tires and the asphalt on the road and as a result your car is very prone to skidding to locking up to turning in directions you don't need it to and so you just want to be careful of that and then the third thing is visibility give your side lights on time maintain braking distance use your headlights and emergency lights if you need to especially when it comes to like big torrential rains or like fog just use your hazard lights you don't have to worry about it the point is to be seen in such a scenario and to be predictable to those around you so there isn't any confusion not on your end but on someone else's end like when you're about to make a right turn up at the intersection ahead you want everyone to know around you you are making a right turn you don't want to be like confusing everyone because that causes these fraction of a second confusions cause accidents especially when it comes to rain and conditions are more adverse so just be more predictable and be more safe on the road and honestly if you see a puddle that's too deep just avoid it you don't want to get stuck in it you don't want to fall if you're on a scooter and you don't want your wheel to get stuck inside if you are on a car and anyway let me know if you have any other questions or comments or if you have any other rain wet condition driving tips and i'll see you on the next one